Have you ever been in a checkout line at a grocery store? After you've scanned all of your mini groceries, you go to swipe your card and it declines. Well, I found three ways that colleges steal your money. And by avoiding these three things, you'll make sure that something like that never happens again. When you're in college, you need to maximize every single penny you have. You probably have low to no income. If you do have a job, you're probably working max 20 hours a week at minimum wage. If you don't properly manage your expenses as a student in college, you will be faced with student loans. There are two options. You had either it takes you forever to get through college or you take out student loans. The average student debt per person in America is $28,950. This leads to high stress worrying about having to pay out that off at the end of your college career. And that's average. Your debt will probably be higher. So let's take a look at a few ways that you can avoid wasting your money at college. One expense that every college gets you with is textbooks. Every single student will have to worry about textbooks at some point because they are a necessary expense for a lot of different classes. Four or five different textbooks per semester. You may be wondering, well, how can I avoid that? The biggest issue with this is most colleges will not tell you what textbooks you need before you get into that class. Generally, of course, only once you're sitting inside that class with the syllabus in hand will you know exactly what textbook you need. This leads you to buy what is most convenient, and that is what the university offers. You show up to whatever in-person store or online store, they'll look through what classes you have, and they'll be like, okay, you need these textbooks, and then you order them, no questions asked. But there are far better ways to get your textbooks that are much cheaper. First up, I know from my area, there's a whole website dedicated for my local area for secondhand textbooks. So check for that for your own area. This can lead to great savings. Another option is Facebook Marketplace. Let's take a look at a popular college location. When we look up textbooks in any area by a college of generally any size, textbooks will come up. Now you do have to rely on a little bit of luck with this one because you're just hoping someone is selling that certain textbook you need, but it's always worth a check and it can save you quite a bit of money. Now this next one is a dangerous one. The other day I had forgotten my lunch. I had woken up a little bit late and had to run out the door. Before I go to school every day, I have a three hour shift at work. Before my shift had even ended, my stomach was already growling. By the time I'd gotten to my second to last class, I was super hungry. As I was walking to class, I passed by a vending machine. Inside the vending machine were four slices of pizzas for like $4.12. I was super hungry and after probably like 10 minutes of debating, I went over and I bought it. It was in a moment of weakness and desperation and that's how vending machines get you. The college that I'm at has several vending machines in every single building. And of course, while these can be great save you last moment kind of things, these can turn into something that you rely on on a daily basis. Three to four dollars every once in a while is not that bad. And I had the budget to spend this money. But if I bought something like that every single day because I, I just kept forgetting my lunch, then that could quickly turn into a very bad spending habit. So here's how to avoid it. Every single day, make sure you wake up with enough time to pack a lunch. Doesn't matter how big or small it is, just enough to get you through the day. You always Always have more food back home that you can rely on. Carry some snacks, whether it's just a thing of fruit snacks, some crackers, just have some extra snacks in your backpack that you don't eat every day, but are there for emergencies, maybe some granola bars, and have a budget that you can buy some fun food with. It is fun to buy a little snack in a vending machine every once in a while. And this isn't an anti-vending machines video. They can be a valuable resource sometimes, but we just have to be careful how we use them. Following those few tips will help you avoid the temptation and help you avoid that situation where you are desperate for some food. For our next one, try to think of all the things that colleges have you pay for. You got tuition, textbooks, probably rent if you're living on campus. Now, throw a meal plan on top of that. Meal plans are an extremely expensive food option that colleges offer. Some even require it for first year students. Well, let's take a look at Michigan State University. For a meal plan, it's $3,450 per semester. It is all you can eat all through the week, but assuming that a semester is three months and one month is 30 days, you can eat there three times a day without missing a meal and the amount you spend per meal is still $12.78. I did a calculations for a number of other colleges and this appears to be an average. They're all around the $10 to $13 range. So in one week you're spending $268.38. That is easily enough for a single person to, to get by for two or even three months in some cases. Before applying or joining a school, look into this. If they require you to sign up for a meal plan for a semester, it might be worth it to consider a different school. The best ways around this are, well, like I just said, avoid those kind of schools, buy food from grocery stores. It is super convenient to have meal plans like this. You don't need to worry about meal prep, ingredients, you know, what you want to eat. It's just given to you, but it's worth it. It'll save you so much money. And cook from scratch. That's an even better option than buying food from the grocery store. This will save you so much money. And those are the three ways that college
called just steal your money, sometimes without us even realizing it. If you have anything that you think we should have included or things we shouldn't have included, let us know in the comments below. If you like what you saw today and want to support us, our Patreon is down in the description below.